Hey everybody, I am Cinnamon Cooney, your art sherpa, and today I'm so excited to be showing you how you can paint this adorable, colorful pig. To help me do that is my husband, John. Hey guys. He's gonna make sure that I can show you every part of the painting process. We're gonna zoom in on techniques. We're gonna make sure you see all the color mixing, everything that you need. This cute, sweet little piggy is part of a 30-day painting program. You can do just this video or all 30 if you like. Get your paint, get your brushes, come back and meet me at the easel right now. We're gonna paint this. The colors today are Cad Red Medium, Quinacridone Magenta, Naples Yellow Light, Cad Yellow Medium, Burnt Sienna, Thalo Green, Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Mars Black, and Titanium White. We're gonna be painting on an eight by eight surface, and we're gonna start by painting the entire surface a light gray. And to do that, I'm gonna get my big, big brush. So to make a short work of this, I'm gonna get a little water on it, drag the water off. I wanna make sure I don't have too much water. I'm gonna come over here and make a very light gray. Dark enough to see our chalk lines, but still light enough to let the pig shine. When you have the entire surface gray, you can use your T-square and your chalk tool to create a grid. I like to do a one inch by one inch grid across the surface of the canvas, vertically and horizontally, to match the reference grid so I can copy the image onto my surface easily. When you have all your grid marks on, you can number your grid one through eight across the top and down the side. Now that all those numbers are marked, you can look at your reference and find a square, pick an object, try not to think about what the object is or isn't, but just follow the line that you see in that square. So. The top of the ear, right, is gonna enter here and exit here. So all I've gotta do is copy what I see in that one square. Let's do it for the whole piece. Once you have all of your image transferred onto your surface using the reference, you're gonna be able to begin to paint that in on step two. John, are you ready for step two? I am. I'm ready for step two. It's gonna be so fun and easy. I'll see you back here for step two. Now step two, I actually wanna lighten this part of the background a bit. And you're gonna notice that you can take off your chalk lines with just a damp brush. But I also want this background to be much lighter than I initially did it. And I really wanted it this color so I could see my chalk and get my grid on here and also that there was some depth. But I'm still gonna wanna kind of refine this background gray. And it still needs to be gray, but just a slightly lighter gray. That way we have a lot of contrast between our gray and our pickles. <laughs> you like the pickles? I do. We'll have to figure out what we're going to name this one. Too many pigs on the channel. How many pigs have I done? I don't know. Some pigs. We've done a few. And some pigs. But I really like some pigs. I like them. I, you know what? There was this artsy Technicolor cow you did a long time ago. Yes. I like that one. That one was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yep. Sometimes it's fun to paint things very colorfully. Sometimes it's fun to watch someone paint something very colorfully. Are you making a suggestion he should be colorful? <laughs> No, I'm just saying that's what I do. I mean, he can be. I just, if you'd like him to be. Well, I don't paint. I watch you. So that's fun for me to watch <laughs> you, but I'm not going to paint. My youngest has a theory, Luna John, has a mm. theory that all the images have flowers in them. <laughs> so I don't know if I, should have, if, I, if I should feel pressure to put flowers in all the images. Because she feels like she really unlocked a secret there. <laughs> have to little e leave Easter eggs for little bits of this and that. So you can see that lightened it up around the pig a bit. It's just a shade or two, but it'll make a big difference when we get our pinks in. All right. Believe it or not, that's what you've got to do for step two. <laughs> da -da -da. See you back here and we're going to begin painting the pig for three.
So we're on step three, and we're going to start putting in some of the colors and values around our pig. Now, I think it can be kind of fun to sort of pick areas and go into some values. But let's go into our basic pig mix. Our basic pig mix is going to be our quinacridone, magenta, and our cad red. In this particular company's line, they call it quinacridone fuchsia, but it's the pigment that I'm talking about. So, mm. you know, anything in that range. That's a pretty great, wonderful pink, but I need to kind of tone it with a little bit of yellow, and I really enjoy getting into my Naples yellow light to do that because it just makes the best color. Mm. So in the ear, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting kind of maybe inside some of this little ear. really fun to do. Isn't that one a wonderful color? And you can see with the gray, it's just fantastic. It really is. I really like it with the gray. Just, this is going to be one of those ones that's super pretty. Mm-hmm. You can see it already. We're going to come here. I like to leave kind of a little bit of a sort of cartilage space there. If you need just a touch of water, go ahead and grab it anytime you need it. It should be just sort of a fun paint today. It's important when you're trying to do these, like every day especially, that you paint images that um, you are excited by. Because if you don't, it's very hard to sustain. <laughs> you have to be invigorated by the work. I think that you've got to be sort of excited by it. I'm going to come here and start with this value. I'm still on my number eight cat's tongue. Just because it was in my hand. You like to use it. I like to use it. I'm not against it. You're reluctant for change. I think what it is is I get into the zen of painting and then I forget there is change. If that makes sense. Now right here I could come and grab a little bit more of my um, quinacridone and start talking about what's going on in the nostrils. You know, just blend wet into wet because they're a bit redder underneath them. You mm. can kind of see that little blending on the canvas that I did. I do. It'll be important later. <laughs> right now, it's like, okay. Let me get some more of this. A couple of places I also want to put this is like kind of coming under here. And then a bit on the inside leg. A little bit at this turn right here. Because, you know, pink happens. Hmm. Maybe you know that. Maybe you didn't, but it I've does. I've seen it. I've seen it occur. Add a little bit of white. We go around these little eyes, and we're going to call that kind of like the start of this step because I don't want to get us overwhelmed today. Hmm. We got lots of little micro mixes to make and lots of fun stuff to do. Well, no, actually, I'm going to put this right here because it uh, will work. While you have the color, sometimes it's nice to do. And you can always sort of blend that out if you need to, because you can keep layering values. It's not like Mr. Pig is going to be sorry about the pink. <laughs> so that's step three, and we're going to come back in step four and continue to refine more values and more tones within our pickles. For a little bit, I'm going to switch to my number six bright, and I'm going to continue to sort of come in and work this color mix. It's really going to be lighter value, darker value, lighter, darker value, darker value the whole way through. Like in this one, maybe I'm a little more quinacridone. Then come here on the inside, around the eye. There's also some interesting stuff happening up over the nose. Mm. That I'm going to want to get. A little bit behind the ear. I really, really love 
this color. Very much. Mm -hmm. It's super fun for me. There's some fun little wrinkles in Mr. Fuzziness's little life. You just come in and work the navel yellow. So in some sense, even though it's a colorful value study, it is a value study. Yeah, this is, these are more interesting steps than we've had in the past. They're more unpredictable. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I mean, just not as intuitive as, you know, sort of like when you're doing a landscape, you do the stuff really far away and then work your way towards the, you know, closer. Yeah. Here it's a little like, do the donuts around the eye and then make his nose, then do his ears and then do some. It's true parts though, because you're just kind of working a few things in and you're trying to build up without overwhelming yourself. I have added a lot of quinacre down here. I'm going to come here and just talk a little bit about snouts. Snouts do things. I don't know if you knew that. They find truffles. <laughs> they do. One more pink there. I like finding these little moments. Mm -hmm. Like inside an ear. Magenta. Deep in that. And that's all pretty good. The rest, I'm going to come in and get a little bit of my cad yellow into it. It's still got the pink. But I got a little more of my cad yellow into it, and I'm going to get some white involved. You know how you do? Mm. He's still some navel yellow. Let's come over here. We'll just sort of paint in the other values like that that are happening here. Like this kind of comes around the eye. Adding more white and navels yellow, just trying to lighten it up. Kind of great, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Moving it around. Mm. That was really fun. Whoops, painted out a little bit of my snout, didn't I? So if ever I paint anything out that I want, all I got to do is if the layer underneath is dry, I can kind of easily remove what I just put down and get back to what I had. And you can just do that with just a little bit of wet paint. I mean, a little, a little water. Yeah, if it's dry. If it's not if it's dry, dry, if, if, if uh, the under layer has to be dry, if they're both wet, they're going to blend wet into wet. Hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't be as ineffective of a technique. But already, we've got some pigs going on. And I put out some other colors because I feel like I was thinking about doing a particular kind of thing. <laughs> so I'm still going to do it. But even I'm looking at this kind of just loving it as it is. Mm -hmm. This is a loose, now, wonderful painting that I'm really enjoying. This is a daily painting. Now, that's something you really haven't talked much about is when... If you have an unexpected, like, this is like, this is good. I should stop. Go with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say is go with it. If it's good and you're happy, go ahead and, like, leave it where it is, you know? He's looking a little, still a little shocked eyed there, I'd he say. Is. But, you know. He's got, he's got a little ways to go. And I want a lot more color on him. So let's come back on five and we're going to start hitting in some more layers. You kind of see where you're at now. Mm -hmm. Get to here. And I will come back and see you for step five. So we're going to continue on, but we're going to get playful and colorful.
I want to kind of get into the ears and have a little bit of fun here. Now, one of the colors that I do want to be working is my turquoise with a little bit of my Naples yellow, as you can see. And I'm going to get some light values. And one of the things that I say to people a lot of the time is that more than the color itself, the value is what helps us determine the shape of something on a canvas. And so sometimes you can get away with a lot even when you're playing with the value, like we're about to do here. Let's see how it goes. Let's okay. Right. And I'm really enjoying that. That's quite a lovely, how that plays against each other is really fun. Mm -hmm. You can notice that I had quite a lot more Naples yellow, and sometimes I'm grabbing some white. I'm going to have to put my nose back again. <laughs> I'm I'm stroking across very strong, and that's what's happening. Ah. Uh, Hopefully the dry and... thing will work, which it does seem to be working. And I'm going to put a lot of this back with my round brush, so I'm not too stressed about it. You just need so those to look sure. really good. I think I want that kind of green underneath to maybe have a little more of the turquoise in it. So I'm going to come underneath here with just a slightly darker color. around that edge. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I do too. So let's work a little bit in our ears a bit. And I'm going to take a, my magenta over to my ultramarine. And it's going to give me kind of a nice purple that I can play with. Some white into it so I can really see it. Even more into the blue purple. We haven't taken out all of our magenta, but we are talking a little bit about the shadow with those colors. I tell everybody a lot, and I, especially during uh, this daily painting program, John, mm -hmm. I tell everybody a lot that more than the exact color, what matters is the value of the color. Right. And I'm just kind of adding those little specific bits here and there. I'm really at, rather liking that. Mm -hmm. I like them a lot. White a lot. It's And I get it. It's a lot to sort of take in. I would say this is a great place to kind of get to on step five because I know you're doing some stuff that maybe is not intuitively natural. Hmm. So that way you guys can take that in and we'll come back on step six and get our next layer kind of going in. Maybe we'll work some of that nose that I keep painting out. All right. Okay, six. Step six. So as we're going forward, I'm going to maybe come back and work on this nose a bit because it got away from me. So as back into my... Quinacridone in my cad yellow, in my Naples yellow, to get some of those little nose pink colors that we like so much. And the round brush is going to just let me have a little bit of a more control over what's happening in that space. Now, on the nose, some interesting stuff is absolutely kind of a foot. Hmm. And one of the things that's a foot is the top half of the nose is much lighter. Let's put out some more white so we can lighten it. And, oh, he's so cute already. It's going to be a really pretty little colorful pig. I'm going to get a lot more white and some more Naples yellow. And you can see that that really takes it to a new place. If you have to pull paint out of your brush, 
to lighten the pigment load, you can do that. Let's come to the top. Right here is pretty great. And I'm going to just wiggle my brush back and forth. And then here between the nose, right, that's great. I want to blend so back into my main kind of nose color. Lighter than at the base, but darker than maybe those two highlights. Thinking pretty interesting and good. He's got some shape. We all like a little shape to our noses, right? Mm-hmm. Have a little bit of that. The magenta just to play with that. Not bad. Deep in the nose, do a little magenta and blue. Not black, interestingly enough. You might think black, but we're not going to do black. That. Looks pretty okay. Mm-hmm. It's got a little bit of an interesting kind of staining coming out, and we can get to that using this fabulous mixture. So this can represent a little bit of the shadow coming out of the nose. How fun. Hopefully everyone is having kind of a good time. I'm, I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. I myself, too, am having good times. I'm going to get maybe a little bit of this that I could talk about somewhat. The way that plays across each other. These pops of colors, I don't want to get. I, I do want them there, but I want to be in control of when I use them, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Getting a light value. Let's, you know, add a little bit of a defined wrinkle. Maybe there's one right there. Yeah. So these are just a little bit lighter. You can see I'm just sort of pulling this around, dry brushing. But that's helping kind of inform and shape everything. dark there and wherever you're like oh well that's a little bit dark you can always come back and make adjustments so a little bit more light color right here we want to pull certain values out Using just a light or dark, everything is getting. I'm really enjoying that. Now, in his eyes, they're sort of fascinating. I'm going to begin with a little of my black and brown. I will do some color surprises in the eyes as well. But we're going to start here. Might have gone a little too far forward. I always make everything's eyes really big. Mm. That's what I like to do. This is a fun kind of middle of the journey, relax piece. You need to keep those going. Yeah, I like the non-use of black, you know? Yeah. We use other, what you call it, chromatic black? Yeah. I mean, we put a little black into our brown to, to deepen it, but we're going to kind of avoid using black to show shadows where we can. Into my pinks, 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 pinks. There we go. 
Kind of around the eye. See forward facing, just a little bit of a highlight. Mm-hmm. There's some there. I feel like I see some right here. Let me get a little rosy as we go. <laughs> I like that rosy as we go. Ah, oh, so cute! <sighs> Looking good! I'm gonna maybe get into my navel's yellow a bit. I'm gonna add that here. Around right this side of the nose. Just a little. Let's give a look at that value sense. Does it pull out? Can mm -hmm. we see it? Do we like it? Is it playful? Value, more than a specific color, gets you through a painting. Doesn't matter what you're doing, that'll be your first thing, you know, that you can think about when you're trying to get a little control over what you have going on. Now, I feel like my nose got a little wonky. <laughs> it did, it got a little wonky. So I'm gonna put it back, as you do. Pigs are very proud of their noses. They know they're special in the animal kingdom. So I wouldn't want him to lose his adorable, sweet nose. All right. I mean, not to surprise everybody, but step seven, we're going to continue to refine what we've been building here. Maybe give some hair textures, play with some dry brushing, kind of add that next layer. Whoa! You feel it? Mm. All right, seven. So in seven, I want to add maybe some interesting texture that kind of feels like hair. And I'm going to get into my bristle brush to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get that, you know, primary mix going that we had over here. But let's get some yellow into it. And then really lighten it. Even noticeably. There we go. From perhaps our background. You'll see me get just a small amount of CAD because CAD has a very high tinting strength. Oh, that really does make a little textury. Kind of makes them little, little bits, right? A little fuzzy. Just a little out of focus, just a little rough. I'm just looking for values that are maybe a little bit lighter. If you need to add water to your brush, that's okay, but you want to be careful with the bristle brushes that they don't get too waterlogged. And you can see I'm not taking out the values that I played with. I'm just softening some of the stuff around his little face. With a painting, layers matter. We build these works up in these layers. And we definitely, definitely have a very light value back here. Maybe a little bit where the knee is sort of bent there into the outside here. You can see we're trying to create these little moments. I like my little moments. Oh, that's the color. That's a different color. I'll put that back in and make sure it's there.
Got some very serious little <laughs> fuzzes mm. going on. You gotta love a little fuzz, right? Mm-hmm. And one more kind of like, I'm gonna layer up one more light layer. Get a little bit of the yellow in there. You can see I'm just still mm -hmm. playing with that. And you must. You don't must. It's not actually seriously a requirement, but it's great to do it. Get that little pink going again. A little bit of the CAD. And quite a lot of our Naples yellow. Ooh. Just another little bit of drama. I'm a pig loves drama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we still have good contrast against the background, even though, you know, Everything is kind of light and pop art and really dramatic. Okay. Step eight, we're going to refine just a few lines and work on the eyes, which is where all the drama is. Now, are you ready to find the drama in the eye, John? Mm-hmm. All right. First step of drama in the eye is going to be getting your CAD red and your cad yellow together and making quite a nice orange. You can put your brown into it, kind of get a little bit of a stable, and we're going to come underneath the eye and forward like this. Isn't that lovely? Mm-hmm. Now, as love it, we can always get just a little bit of the cad yellow and cad red together, making a brighter orange. And then maybe even in this, light a bit of it. Ah, gotta love it. The eyes are a lot of fun on Mr. Piggles. I do want to maybe get into my ultramarine and some white to make a very, very light color. Just right here. If I overstep, I can always come back with my brown and black mm -hmm. and kind of work it back in. And get a little of your deeper black in here. And creating a bit of depth to the eye. I want to definitely, definitely, you know, kind of thin that up. Let's get some of our magenta, and it can have a little of our uh, Naples light, but we want it to be a fairly dark and rosy color. Now on the eyes, I'm going to 
really play with value again as we have been the whole piece so let's come forward here and, and give ourselves a nice little lid and of working there looks good isn't it mm -hmm. just a really pretty little pick I know that must seem like a <laughs> silly statement to me. It's a cutie, cutie little pig. This is a cutie, cute little pig. It makes my phthalo blue and ultramarine blue. I need a very dark color with some black in it. Hopefully that kind of shows. I'll bring that around. Go back with my brown. Then where we have that, I'm going to want to come in and get a much stronger kind of sense of white. That outside edge. Can you see that reflection on that outside edge? Yeah. Where we're going to go there. Interestingly enough. Right there. Oh. And you can kind of bring that in a bit to kind of exaggerate some of what's going on with that lighting. Isn't ah, he sweet? Yeah. That's all we're doing today. Wow, that turned out really nice. Just a nice little light day because you need a few of those. <laughs> right? Every mm. once in a while, you need to have a chill moment. And honestly, wasn't this sort of a fun piece? Gotta sign him. Gotta sign him. Now, on a piece like this, I'm always like, where to sign and how to sign, right? Mm-hmm. Because the color is so fantastic over the whole piece yeah. that you don't want to do anything that, like, makes that not as good as it is. So I'll do what I can here. I'm going to sign over here. Mm. Oh, let me go down there. Excuse me. It's opposite sign day for here. the Sherpa. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mr. Fun Colorful Pig. I mean, he needs to be in your house, right? I can't wait for him to be on my wall. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with him. Wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And I so appreciate your time and creativity. I think we learned a lot today about value and how you can use really surprising colors in unexpected ways. I really hope that you'll join us tomorrow when we do this fantastic bubble lesson. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>